Colorado Rapids has signed Zach Steffen. Hey guys, we just broke news. No, we didn't. Poker no. broke it. We just broke it <laughs> on our show. Zach Steffen is Look officially. There we go. I was right. Look yeah. at it. You guys just said I was wrong. It's I was right. Oh, and it is not a DP spot. Joins on a three year deal with option for fourth. There we go. So Boom! not a DP. Not a DP. Three year deal. He's 28, not 26. Still in his prime. You have a guy with major, major game experience, both on an international level, both on an intercontinental level, and at the highest level of club soccer. Yeah, and he's also uh, Willie, William Yarborough, the guy that we had second on the list. It's off to San Jose. It's in a Bogers article that Willie is gone. Yarby is off he's to not- San Jose. Signed to San no, Jose? the they, rights. They traded the rights. Correct. Is what I understand. Yeah, that's what it is. Is that the rights have been traded, and if they want to sign him, they have the first, or if he wants to sign with them, basically, or if, you know what I'm saying, to play in the MLS, they hold his rights. Um, so look, I'm telling you right now, Illich out the door within a week. That's what I'm saying. I'm calling that shot right now. We were planning on doing an extra pod, but we kind of got it. That's okay. We got it. Who knows? Maybe a bigger move comes through. Yeah, we'll see. But either way, I think here you talk about him for a sec. I got to jump in on the Rapids Twitter. Yeah, we got to. We got to wax about him. Wax about him, dude. The thing about Zach is, he's an English player, dude. He's a guy that's been tasked to back up Man City, one of the greatest clubs in the world right now. He's also a guy that won the 2019 Goalkeeper of the Year in the MLS. He was with Columbus for a long time. I'm all I'm all in for this man. I think with the with him, and then you bring another left back. Hopefully, crossing my fingers for Sammy Vines. Now that we got a little bit more money, because it's not a DP. Uh, bring in maybe one more center back for depth, and I think you have a good defense. I think you can allow the least amount of goals you've have allowed since the 2021 season. I'm all for this move. There's no way Zach Steph is not going to come here and succeed. You saw what Yarby did with an okay back line. Now, if you do a little bit of improvements, a little bit more movement, and then you put Moise as a starter all year, I think this team's defense is going to be great. Bring in a six, maybe have uh, somebody else that midfield control it a lot more, and I'm all the way in. There's no way Zach Steffen doesn't succeed in Colorado. I think he's going to be the guy that we look back in about four years and be like, wow, that was a hell of a deal for a guy that, that just gave us goalkeeper of the year um, award after award. Over under one and a half uh, goalkeeper of the year awards. Over under one and a half. Yeah, I'd probably take the under, but take the over if you said half. So, you think he wins one at least? I, he is instantly one of the best keepers in the league. We should do instantly. a ranking. We should, instantly. We He's should, one of the best keepers. It's not even a question to me. We should rank the keepers maybe next week. i probably put him around fifth just off the top of my head. Four or five. Yeah. Right? Because there's the two obvious guys at the top. If Philly and, and Minnie have the two best. Yeah. Right? And then you can kind of even put Stefan at third if you really wanted to. I mean, but now you have you, all your East. Yeah, uh, but it's you, not Hugo you, Lloris from... A few years ago, it's Hugo Lloris now. Also have, so. You also have Berkey out in St. Louis. Sure. I mean, he's in that. I'm saying he's in the conversation somewhere from three to five. You think so? I think so. I think he's top 10 for sure. Instantly. I put him more around eight, if I'm honest. That's fine. But I, I think they're going to be, I think it's going to be a great, I, I, again, I'm all in for Zach Steffen. I think he's the guy. And also, be right. I don't know why you're so, uh, <laughs> why you're so down on this move, man. You needed improvements all over the team. You needed improvements from the back end to the front end. And I don't know why bringing in a guy that started for the USMNT, that's been a, a staple of that team for about, what, five, six years now, even if he hasn't been a starter. <laughs> it's great. Ricardo's comment is sent in me. We just went to 14th to 10th <laughs> like that. <laughs> it's right, though. I mean, honestly, like, you are an instantly a better team with him as your backstop. A hundred percent. Instantly a better team with him as your backstop. A hundred percent. You can in. trust Bombi to make those crazy runs now that much more than you could with Illich back there. I'm, right? You can right. trust, you know, if uh, Gutman's not there now, but say he was, you can trust Keegan and Gutman to run up those wings 
right? Because you have a shot stopper back there. You have an elite shot stopper in the back of this team now. This is good. This is very good. And not on a DP. Not on a DP contract. That is that is the biggest part of this is you majorly upgrade and you do it affordably. The other This thing, is a mastermind move. The other thing that people keep saying, there's the, like B Ray saying, this is not worth without a DM. That's not true. You can look at it as like because you don't have this one player. But Sometimes, this is also not over. This isn't the last exactly, move. Exactly. Like you don't know. There's an upgrade. You don't look at it in the big picture yet until the transfer season is over, until all the guys come in, until it's February and it's game one, and then you can kind of complain about what's not here. For now, if you're just looking at it in the micro and looking at this move by itself, it's a great damn move. Poor it cooked. We don't know how much he spent on it yet. We don't know how much the, the transfer was. But regardless, it's such a good move. It's a move that gives the Rapids a chance to win going forward. And that's how you have to look. That's how you have to look at it. You have to look at it as, hey, they improved. Now they can improve some more. And if you got some more pieces around, it can be a great, a great signing. And it could be a good year. It could be a fun year. It can be a year where the Rapids are fighting for a home playoff spot. It could be a year that maybe they're in the playoffs and we're just having the time of our lives. Am I wrong, Mitch? Look, no, like, you're not wrong. This is fun. Like, am I overthinking this? Like, am this I is like good? This is really, really good. This is not one of those ones where I want to go online and see everyone being miserable about it. This is a you got an elite goalkeeper on an affordable contract to agree to leave. I mean, granted, he wasn't at Manchester City, but his rights were, you know, like he is a Manchester City player on He's a Premier League player. Yeah, he's a rotational keeper for the best team in the world. He got loaned out to get more playing time. And instead of like going on that track where you're saying, okay, I'm going to be um, that guy, right? Like I'm going to, to just put my head down and wait for a starting Premier League spot. He came back to the U.S., you especially being out of that U.S. men's national team spot with Turner kind of being the stalwart lately. He wants to come back domestically, be more involved in those camps, likely, I'm assuming, I don't know that, but like, He's here. He's going to play every single minute this season. And it's it's an absolute home run move. I don't understand any way to look at it besides this is just great business from the front office. They're really, they're really, and goalkeeper was one of the most pressing needs. Goalkeeper really was one of those needs that we just talked about. I have been screaming about it for two months. After letting Yarby go, you needed a guy that could come in. And actually play for 28, a 28 year old goalkeeper. It's like having what a 23 year old outfield player because they play for so long. Like goalkeeper, like a 28 year old is maybe like he's 24 if he was an outfield player about to hit his prime. That's what I'm saying. Now you have a good guy that you can make. Now you have a guy that you can put in that lineup and really, really let. Uh, Adam Beaudry develop, be one of the guys and be the guy that can help bring Adam into the next level. And maybe Adam gets a call right away. Dog, into I didn't Europe. even think about that. And like, you're going to have a guy with European experience oh. in the same position, helping him out and telling him what you have to do to reach the next level. Why don't you want that for developing young players? And then you get a good, you get a good keeper at the same time. To me, it makes, you cannot be upset about this today. I think today is one of those few times that the Rapids did the exact thing that needed to be done. And you got to be really happy about it. And if you're listening to this and you feel similar or you're happy about this, give us a like. Please really hit that like. Drop a like. Hit that it's, like. There's 20, 20 of you in here right now. It just We got eight likes. Please hit that like. It helps us out a bunch. It helps the exposure. We're going to be talking about every move. We're going to be previewing the season. We're going to be going position by position. We're going to be breaking down news, games, everything. It helps us widen the audience, get more people in here, get more people in the chat, expand the community as much as possible. Hitting that like goes a long way to get our show out there. So um, hit, please, while you're in here, all 22 of you, hit that like. I'm, Big I'm, deal. I'm really all for this move. Like, there's yes. no, like you're, look at the move by itself, not what's around the move, and it's a good move. It's a move that makes the Rapids better, and that's all we want, the Rapids to be better.
And that's judgmental Jim, our guy right there, just made the point that I've had this whole time, where it's like Illich was terrible. Goalkeeper is not a spot that you just have to be like, oh, well, we spent all that money on this bad guy. We better play him. No, you spend the money to fix that mistake. Yeah. Uh, like every single time. It's also Rapids 96 right now is trending because of this. Let's go. Like, come on, dude. Like, we're in the convo, baby. We're interesting again. That's, that's also the other thing I've been saying since the start. I don't care if we go from, you know, potential wooden spoon team. I don't see we need to jump to first. We need to be interesting. We need to be part of the conversation, right? Like it's so like being bad and boring is absolutely the worst place any club can be in any sport, right? Just, this team is no longer. Go- I don't think this team is going to be bad. I think they've gotten better. And they're interesting. They're know, getting man. more interesting. You have a guy who, if he puts up the numbers that I think he can, that you think he can, that the stats say he can, is going to put himself back in the mix to be the starting keeper for the U.S. national team. Yep. This is a move for that, 100%. Being at Middlesbrough, while, yes, it helped probably in a lot of ways, right? A bit of a reality check in terms of not being at City, right? Being at this, you know, Middlesbrough's. By far, it, it's still a nice club. They go up and down there, Yo Yo Club. It's not like he went to like, you know, Forest Green Rovers or somewhere. Like, yeah, like, exactly. You know what I mean? He went to a, he went to a, still a big club, but it's a bit of a reality check. And now he wants to come here and and get himself back in that mix. And I think this is an absolute home run. Home run. I cannot be more happy about this right now. Yeah, I'm just I'm all the way in. I think. Is a great move, and I'm not looking at any other position in need. I'm looking at what this team is and what it needs. And filling one of those holes is just a positive. And there's no other way, in my opinion, to look at it. Um, because you have so much more. This roster is so flexible. People don't realize that you can get rid of so many guys and open up so many more roster spots, open up so much more money. You think Village makes, like, almost a half a million dollars. Exactly. Like You, you can think- fill, you can get... A ring or a you know like one of these guys we were talking about Hector like one of these guys you can replace that Illich money with you you think that you don't can get rid of a Lawless get rid of a J Lou get rid of something like J Lou yes Lawless and you I mean you could yeah you it just really, depends where you're not gonna get the money you want no but you but open you up get, yes. no but either way you open up that money on yes. your salary yes. cap yes 100%. and that's what matters because the right. Rapids do have a salary cap and that's what you're worried about. You can pay that, but like damn having that's going to help so much. Like, yo, this I, is tight, dude, dude, I'm all in for that. <laughs> there's no need not to be in on tag. That's what I don't understand. Like there's so much ways in flexibility on this squad that you can move things around. Like as much as I love him, even Galvan is a very flexible piece that you could probably get something for and open up that cap space. Like Damn. you still have two U twenty two initiative spots when Max leaves and because of Gustavo, which don't count. Ag- like you have the super draft picks, don't count against your uh, Kimani and Win Frederick, uh, don't count against your salary cap because they're GAs. Right. Like there's so much flexibility. Just money. Exactly. Yeah, Just yeah, yeah. money wise, like with salary cap, there's so much flexibility, and I don't think people realize that. And that's the one thing you gotta make sure of that. Like you can move this around so much. That you can make a lot more moves. It's just going to depend on how much you're willing to spend it, on the transfer. It is January 3rd. I don't want... And this is this is me. This is my PSA to supporters of the club, fans of the show, people we interact with, talking pits. Yeah. You cannot look at this as a final piece of the puzzle. It is January 3rd. We just put up that roster graphic, right? Where it's like... There are holes. There are holes to fill. There's more moves going to come, and this helps guide that, right? Um, Illich is a young Serbian kid with national team cap on his record. He's huge, right? And yeah, it didn't work here. There's, they'll be able to move Illich on, right? And you he can, can go back to Serbia. Trust me, someone's going to want him. Yeah. Belgium will look at him Mega, again. Like, like any of those teams. Um, this is the start. Right. And it's not really the start because we've, you know, you've seen Omir come in. You've seen some guys, you know, you've seen Mm -hmm. Gutman out, um, stuff like that. This is the first big domino. Right. And, you know, this this is is your first move. This is a great first move. I mean, if this is your only move, yeah, it's not great. It's not great, but it's not. We know it's not because it's January 3rd. Exactly. This is your first move of January. Great move. If this is your only move, Complain. I get that. But this is only January 3rd, and it's only the first move. 
I think, I mean, I don't know, man. I'm all in. They're all bringing, in. it's not distressed as it, because maybe he is distressed, but it's not the <laughs> same as bringing in a Kevin Cabral. It's only distressed because of the club that has his contract, had his contract, and the club that he was playing for on loan, right? Exactly. That's what makes him distressed, right? Middlesbrough keeper, a yo-yo club like that, right? That goes up to the prem, down to down to the championship, up to the prem. Being a keeper for a club like that, especially when you're down, right? Not when you're up in the prem. When you're back down in the championship, you are expected to go up the next year because you're on that parachute payment from the Premier League. This is a club that, you know, you don't want to get stuck in that purgatory, in that middle even worse Damn. relegation down a level, right? So there's pressure there, of course. right? And he has played under it. And bringing him over here to a club that needs a turnaround, right? Where you literally have the supporters group walking out of the stadium in what, the 20th minute, yeah, right? Of a big game to just be like, no, we're not okay with where this club is at. To have that move come in is awesome. This is so good. He's going to fit right in. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Also, doesn't take up an international spot. Doesn't take up an international spot. Doesn't take up a DP spot. Like, again, there's a lot of ways you can look at this, and I get people that are like, oh, well, it's not going to make a huge difference. It's maybe the second domino that falls. You bring in a great guy like Omir that so every pundit out there is like, we like Omir. Dude, Omir, great pickup by the Rapids. Yep. You bring in Zach Steffen. Yeah. Great pick of not a single pundit out there that's like, oh, I don't get it. Sure. I get people are not super excited, but great pickup. Great pickup. 